We're back again with juicy news that involves one of the giants of Formula One tracks, the Mercedes AMG Patronus F1 team. You don't want to miss out on the details. This is not the first time in recent times that the Autosport team has been involved in controversies and scandals. A major one that probably rings a bell in the minds of Formula One fans is the Mercedes Red Bull battle that happened in 2021. Let's give your memory a quick jog by going down memory lane. In the 2021 Formula One season, there was a major controversy between between Mercedes and Red Bull Racing, involving a series of intense battles on the track and disputes off it. The main source of contention was the legality of Red Bull's flexible rear wing and Mercedes' tyre pressure. Red Bull was accused of using a rear wing that could flex at high speeds, potentially giving their car an aerodynamic advantage. Mercedes raised concerns leading to stricter FIA checks and changes in regulations regarding wing flexibility. Conversely, Red Bull alleged that Mercedes was running their tyres at lower pressures than allowed, enhancing performance. This led to investigations by the FIA and pressure-related guidelines were adjusted during the season. Talk about tit for tat. Ultimately, Max Verstappen of Red Bull and Lewis Hamilton of Mercedes fought fiercely for the championship, with Verstappen eventually clinching the title in a thrilling final race, concluding a season filled with technical scandals and heated rivalry. On the flip side of things, the rivalry between team bosses Toto Wolff and Christian Horner also provided some of 2021's best drama. Now Mercedes is in the news again, however this issue seems to be with the top bosses of the team. Let's get into the mix, shall we? Earlier we mentioned Toto Wolff. Toto Wolff is the team principal of Mercedes. However, he wasn't the only one implicated in this latest saga. His wife Susie Wolff was also involved. Susie Wolff is managing director of the F1 Academy, which is run by F1's commercial rights holders. The Formula One season has ended, but the drama seems to have continued. As Mercedes team principal, Toto Wolff alongside Susie Wolff were entangled in an emerging controversy. The dramatic development comes after the FIA decided to carry out investigations regarding the activities of the couple. Toto Wolff Wolf wears two hats, one as the leader of a Formula One team and another as a crucial figure in the sport. This places him in the middle of many private discussions. Meanwhile, his wife, Susie Wolf, holds an important role at the F1 Academy and works for Formula One management. This has prompted worries that supposedly secret conversations at team principal level could be being passed on to F1 senior management. Their connection adds complexity because it might involve sharing secret details between them. The accusations mainly revolved around the possibility that they've shared sensitive information. Their positions in Formula One create a tricky situation, raising questions about whether confidential data could have passed between them due to their personal and professional ties within the sport. Accusations have surfaced, alleging Wolf's involvement in sharing confidential information with Formula One management, FOM, and Liberty Media, information that other rival bosses were not aware of. This means by going by the accusations, Wolf basically had an upper hand compared to the principles of rival teams. Although no rival boss has spoken out about these allegations made against the couple openly, there are claims that some of these bosses described the situation as illegal and unethical. Now you might be wondering what's triggered these accusations? Well there's a claim that Toto Wolff's remark during a team principal meeting was sourced from FOM exclusive information. This particular comment seemed to spark complaints from other team leaders. While there isn't any public comment by rival teams, rival teams are believed to have put pressure on FIA's president, Mohammed Ben Salayam, about the presence of a potential conflict of interest. In response to that, Ben Salayam asked the FIA Compliance Department to investigate. A statement from the FIA which did not mention any names said the FIA is aware of media speculation centered on the allegation of information of a confidential nature being passed to an F1 team principal from a member of FOM personnel. The FIA Compliance Department is looking into the matter. In another light, there are claims that Toto Wolff, the head of Mercedes F1, might have shared details about Red Bull Racing going over the budget limit by a minor percentage, less than 5% in 2022. The FIA announced Red Bull had breached last year's $145 million cost cap in October 2022. This raised worries among team leaders about whether this action was fair and right. Rival team bosses were allegedly worried about the potential problems arising from this incident. Some team bosses were allegedly reported to have compared this Red Bull saga to what was believed to be playing out now in Formula One based on the allegations against Toto Wolff.
Wolf. However, it's important to note that FIA has made their stance on the issue clear. The FIA declared that they had stopped investigating Susie and Toto Wolf. They stated that Formula One's rules are strong enough to prevent any leaks of confidential information, so they didn't find any breaches during their examination. The FIA's announcement essentially means they've decided not to pursue the investigation further. They believe that the rules in place for Formula One are strict and effective enough to ensure that confidential information remains secure. The decision occurred two days following the FIA disclosure about their compliance department probing allegations against the Wolves. It happened a day after Mercedes's nine competitor teams jointly posted on social media, asserting that they hadn't lodged any complaints against the Wolves. That's interesting, don't you think? Lewis Hamilton, a seven-time British world champion and Mercedes driver, gave his two cents on the issue. Lewis Hamilton, who is a prominent figure, a legend even, in Formula One, expressed his dissatisfaction with the way the sport's governing body, the FIA, initiated an investigation into Toto and Susie Wolf. He described their actions as unacceptable. Hamilton expressed disappointment over the FIA's decision to probe into the integrity of Susie Wolf, an exceptional female leader in the sport, without any evidence or prior discussions with her. He emphasized the significance of Susie Wolf's contributions to Formula One and highlighted the lack of fairness in the process undertaken by the FIA. He stressed the need for proper questioning and evidence before casting doubts on the integrity of individuals involved in the sport, especially someone as remarkable as Susie Susie Wolf. He made these remarks at a news conference before the FIA's end-of-season prize-giving gala in Baku. These comments came after Mercedes made it clear they were considering all legal options. Mercedes issued a statement revealing their active involvement in legal discussions with the FIA. They emphasized their intent to acquire comprehensive clarity regarding the events in question and the reasons responsible for them. The statement strongly implied that Mercedes is pursuing complete resolution from the FIA. This includes seeking the withdrawal of all accusations of public acknowledgement that there was no intention to harm the reputation of either the company or Toto Wolf, and an outright apology. In a separate declaration, Susie Wolf expressed her dissatisfaction with the FIA's conduct throughout the week, deeming it unsatisfactory. She highlighted the need for higher standards in the sport, insisting that better treatment is warranted and demanded by everyone involved. Wolf, the managing director of the F1 Academy, a category for aspiring female drivers, said, I intend to follow up until I've found out who has instigated this campaign and misled the media. That sounds like like the words of a determined woman. Toto Wolff, on the other hand, said that he wasn't going to be commenting officially for now, as Mercedes are in active legal exchanges with the FIA regarding the situation. Mercedes appears determined to pursue all available legal avenues to seek resolution and clear their reputation from any unwarranted accusations. The recent uproar surrounding the Mercedes F1 team has added an interesting chapter to Formula One's narrative. The drama featuring Toto and Susie Wolff highlighted the delicate balance between personal ties and professional interactions integrity within the sport. Voices like Lewis Hamilton's echoed concerns over fair treatment and proper procedures, underscoring the need for transparency and integrity in Formula One's governance. Despite the FIA halting its investigation, the whispers of confidentiality breaches still linger. As Mercedes navigates legal avenues to restore its reputation, this episode serves as a reminder that beyond the roaring engines and checkered flags, Formula One isn't immune to off-track controversies. Amidst these twists and turns, Formula One fans eagerly a way to return to the heart-pounding action on the circuits while hoping for a more transparent future in the Formula One arena in coming seasons and beyond. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. As usual, we'd love to hear from you. Kindly comment below about your opinions concerning the turn of things in this Mercedes saga.